Hi there and welcome to the Let's Play of Icewind Dale. I am Byron and we are in the village of Kaldahar. By and Tempas, the vision speaks true. You are the heroes from my dreams. Do I know you? Our paths have not crossed until this day. I am Yoldair, son to Rethric, elder and shaman to the tribe of the bear. Well met, Yolder. What is this business about dreams and visions? The vision is why I have come to this place. Tempas has guided me to you. For what purpose? This I cannot say. I know only that the storm of war darkens the skies of my homeland. My people are gathering in numbers greater than any have seen for generations. A king, both new and old, has risen to lead the tribes against the Ten Towns. Already the first snows of winter bear the dark stains of spilt blood. Tell me more of this new and old king. Wolfdane is his name. He was a great warrior from an elder tribe who was slain in battle on the eve of last season. Now his body has returned from death's halls to lead my people once more as king. He came back from the grave? What kind of undead monster is this king of yours? Wolfdane's flesh is but a vessel, a borrowed tool. The spirit of the new king is much, much older than the form it now inhabits. It is said that the spirit of Jared governs his body. It is this claim that has fueled the fires of vengeance among my people. Jared? Isn't he the barbarian hero and tomb beneath the temple in East Haven? The same. You know our history well. Nah, I watched the intro. Now, after centuries of imprisonment, Jared's spirit is free and rallies the tribes once more in a common cause. If this Jared was such a great hero, surely his cause must be just. So why are you here? You must understand. I have read the signs. Tempas will not favor either side in the coming battles. Both my people and those of the towns shall be haunted by countless deaths without honor. That does not answer my question. I have cast my spirit into the nether realm in search of a way to prevent what must not be. My vision quest led me here to find you. You are the answer I seek. Yeah, but then again, what about the answer to my question? If Jared was a good guy, why would he do something evil? Oh well. I see. So what can we do to help? You must come to Hengoro, to the great mead hall where the tribes have gathered. You alone can forestall the war between our peoples. Very well, we shall accompany you. Well, that actually is the thing here. Uh, you should be a certain level. That leads you to the expansion Heart of Winter. And those four people shouldn't be uh, powerful enough to do that. But once I tried a solo character run uh, with a half elven cleric fighter mage, and yeah, he was just like level three on everything, and and he was actually able to do it uh, to go to the Heart of Winter expansion. Of course, he was way too weak. So let's see what happens now. Although I am certain you are the heroes of my vision, I fear you are not yet strong enough for the task at hand. Go forth and sharpen your skills upon the field of valor. When you've grown stronger, return here and we shall speak more. Alright, that's uh, that's how it's supposed to be. As you wish, farewell. Orders? And there's uh, some sort Agreed. of door here. Come on, open it. Oh yeah, you can take it. Ding it! Yeah, my mistake. Your inventory is full. I'm ready. You do it then. Watch this. So that's the sling plus one, very useful. Hey. 
drop the regular thing. And get I'm out listening. of here again. Understood. So I guess we can walk I'll it. up here. Is that correct? Yes it is. A blacksmith's anvil, often used to make or repair tools. Okay, so this here leads us to the blacksmith. Got it. And there's a chest. That you is have locked. my attention. I'll handle it. But Ready. we can't open it yet. Fine. Maybe later. Lockpick failed. Fine, fine. Yes. Understood. Welcome, stranger. What can I do for you? Greetings, my name is Storm Fireblade. You must be Colin, the local blacksmith. I am Colin. If you are needing a sharp blade or start maze, I'm the man to see. Best take advantage while I'm still here. While you're still here, are you going somewhere? I suppose so. With all the skullduggery that's been going on around here, I imagine I'll not be around much longer. Uh, I see. So you're planning on leaving town? Ha! I wish that were possible. The southern pass has long since been snowed in by this Danville weather we've been having lately. Now I hear tell that even the northern route to the Tan Towns has been blocked by an avalanche. Mark my words, none of us will last through this winter. We're all done for. I have no intention of dying here. Why is it that you are so ready to lie in your own grave? Hmm. Not much for me to live for, really. My Mary passed a few years ago from the fever. And now, now my son's gone missing. Snatched out of his bed in the middle of the night, right out from under my nose. He was just a boy. I'm sorry, Conlan. Any idea who or what took him? If I knew that, do you think I'd be standing around here pounding at metal? He just vanished, I tell you, gone without a trace. Even old Arundel couldn't find a trail and he's got a nose for such things. I imagine whatever took him will come back for me next. I can't say it'll be unwelcome. I've spoken with Arundel. He believes the source of the disturbance may lie within the Vale of Shadows. The Vale of Shadows, eh? That doesn't surprise me. That place reeks of evil. Most folks in town avoid it like the plague. Those that wander off in that direction are never heard from again. Hmm, may I see what you have for sale? Okay, so we sell our bows. I'm not gonna sell the Yeti pelts, because if I sold them the price would drop. Can you, you buy that? No. He doesn't buy that. No, I don't wanna sell that. So, okay, but um... Yeah, if I ever sold those, the price would drop and we get more Yeti pelts later. So I buy a plate mail for you, and a plate mail for you. And you get a large shield too. And he has some nice weapons to buy here. Uh, here, Faith Killer. Helm of a Trusted Defender is awesome, but it can only be used by halflings and gnomes, so. Yeah, and not by a thief, so. <laughs> My party won't use this. He has nice weapons though, here you see. But it's quite expensive actually. I can't afford that, yeah. 28,000, 36, 33,000. <laughs> no. The ammo bell is useful. Um, it's also, it comes with the ease of use mod. But I, I don't I don't want that. I, I don't think I need that. If I can have like 500 uh, projectiles in each quiver, um, a part of the quiver here, that's probably enough. And that decreases my armor class a bit. And see, um, a large shield has additional plus one versus missile weapons that the medium shield doesn't have. So I guess it's a good thing to get that too. And we can sell that. Bye. Got it. So, and that here is the f the ship that somehow landed here. Got it. Oh yeah, there's also an exit here, but uh, that only leads you to the cow. Got it. 
Mm. Nothing, um, not much we can do here. Done. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. What can I do for you? Mm, who are you? Of course, introductions. How rude of me. Sometimes I just get so wrapped up in my work. The name is Oswald. Oswald Fiddlebender. What is this place? Why, this ship is my home. At least it has been since I crashed here over a year ago. I know, I know, she doesn't. she's not much to look at, but sometimes I'll have her back in one piece and in the air once more. In the air? You mean this contraption can actually fly? Of course it can. Or at least it could once. You should have seen it. It was amazing. It was like sailing on a sea of clouds. She's my greatest invention yet, you know. A flying boat, eh? That is truly amazing. I'm glad you think so. I called it an airship. Isn't that wonderful? Airship, as in, it is a ship that floats upon the air. Get it? It's really quite clever when you think about it. Yes, clever. Why would you build such a strange device? The passes through the spine of the world are fraught with many dangers. The caravan caravans that travel between the Southland and the Tantans must brave not only the treacherous Terran, but all the nasty creatures that inhabit it as well. I simply sought to find an alternative route through the mountains, or in this case, over them. How did you end up in Kaldahar? Yes, well, that's a rather embarrassing story. You see, when I attempted the crossing on the airship's vo maiden voyage, I was the only one on board. I had a bit of <coughs> trouble convincing anyone back in Bryn Channel to crew with me. Go on, I'm listening. Anyhow, I managed to get the ship airborne and was making excellent progress over the mountains. It really was a magnificent view. The billowing clouds, the snow-capped peaks that shimmered like diamonds in the sunlight. I guess I was so enamored by the beauty of it all that I did not notice the outcropping of rock until it was too late. You hit the mountain. What happened next? Well, the collision ripped the button of the ship open wide, the steering mechanism was badly damaged and the ship began to lose altitude. I tried desperately to keep it aloft, but down we came, falling from the sky like a stone. It was by sheer luck that I crashed here in the town of Kaldahar. Lucky indeed. Tell me, what is it you need here? I'm an inventor of sorts. I make things. Things are, that are meant to improve the lives of others. Like the ship, for instance. I also dabble in alchemy. Would you care to sample some of the potions I have concocted? Sure, what sort of potions, of potions do you have? I have all kinds. Currently I'm working on a special brew for the farmers of Kaldahar, something that will help protect their livestock from the bitter cold front that seems to have settled upon the valley. Several farmers were kind enough to donate some cows to serve as test subjects for my experiments. You're feeding experimental potions to the cows? Don't you think that's kind of cruel? Nonsense! I would never hurt these animals. In fact, I have come to think of them as my friends. Besides, without my help, they would all freeze to death. I see. Do you have any potions that we might find useful? Most certainly. I'd be more happy than happy to supply you with whatever potions you might need. For a fair price, of course. Okay, and you can buy stuff here. Yeah, but we don't really need that now. On the other hand, um, I think we can steal from him too. Okay. But not like this. For what do you need me now? It shouldn't be a problem. Great. For what do you need me now? It shouldn't be a problem. This time it worked. It worked again. A third time. Even a fourth time. Fifth time. Wow. What does that guy have in its pocket? Oh, this time it didn't work. For what do you need me now? I'll see what I can do. Failed. For what do you need me now? Okay. Oh, nothing to steal. Okay, what did we get? A necklace of I don't know what it does. A ring of I don't know what it does. A potion of fire breath. By drinking the potion of fire breath, it magically transforms the throat so that it is capable of a giant breath of sweeping fire. Uh, a fire sweeping forth in an arc. The effect does 60 10 damage to the target with a safe versus breath weapon for half. Okay. And, uh, oil of fury burning. Okay. Might come in handy against trolls. We'll put it in here. Ready. Agreed. 
So, I guess we should try Done. to go down here. If we can. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Priest of Elmata. Greetings, very traveler. Are you in need of aid? Yes, I'm a stranger this time. Perhaps you could tell me what service I might find here? Ah, uh, we don't need that. Okay, bye. Already found all the things. Understood. Welcome, friend. I am Brother Gus, faithful servant of the Martyr. Be at peace, for you are in the care of the one who endures. Has anyone ever told you that you look a lot like Brother Ferg, the priest outside? Yes, on numerous occasions. It's not really much of a coincidence, considering that we are twins. Heh. <laughs> well, that explains it then. I was just curious. Yes, well, is there somewhere maybe of assistance to your friends? Greetings, I'm in need of a healer. Could you help me? Ah, oh, blessed are those in need. You've come to the right place, friend. Revered sister Kalinia, Kalin, Kaliana, Kaliana can tend to your wounds and provide with what few curatives we have left in our humble temple. You may find her at prayer upon the altar. What few curators you have left? Don't tell me you're running out. I'm afraid so. The good people of Kalda have suffered great of late, greatly of late. In sharing their burdens, we have nearly exhausted our own supply of potions and antidotes. Though I hear tell that one might find such items elsewhere in town. Really, where? Gnome Oswald Fiddlebender is also uh, is known to dabble in alchemy. He lives in that contraption on the ridge above this temple. It is also rumored that Auric the Mage possesses certain arcane items. He's a bit of a recluse, though. He lives in a small tower on the far side of town to the west. Ah, uh, thanks for the information. Farewell. Okay, we already met all these people. And you are the priest of Elmata? Again? Sister Kaliana. Okay. Greetings, friend. You are welcome in the house of the Bleeding Rose. May the healing hands of Elmata lift your burdens and set your tortured soul at ease. Sister Kaliana, I presume? I was told you could provide the services of a healer. You have been informed correctly. As acting head of this temple, it is my privilege to bestow whatever aid I can upon those in need. No small task, I might add, what with all the troubles that plagued this town of late. Acting head of this temple? Who is normally in charge? Up until a few weeks ago, revered Mother Eugenia presided over this house. Alas, she, like so many others in town, has gone missing and is presumed dead. Being the next highest ranking member of the clergy, I have assumed the duties of the head of this temple until she or rather a uh, revered brother Pokolin uh, returns. <coughs> you mean to tell me your head priest was abducted? Perhaps, we're not quite sure. She grew tired of standing by while the people around us were being snatched up in the night. So she decided to hold a midnight vigil on the outskirts of town in hopes that she might too share in the suffering of those taken. That was the last we saw of her. Her fate remains a mystery. You mentioned a revered brother Pokolin? Who is he? Revered Brother Pokolin is a visiting senior priest of Ilmanta. He passed through Kaldra several days ago on a pilgrimage to the monastery of the Weeping Lilac in Bridge Handler. He travelled quite a ways all the way from Comrie, I believe, is what he said. He must be from those distant regions, for he bore a holy symbol of Ilmanta that was unfamiliar to me. In any case, he promised to return with aid once he reached Bridge Handler. I hope he's alright. Fascinating. Now about the healing, what aid can you offer? And yeah, it's a temple. We can buy stuff here, or get healed, or identify things. We don't need any of that. Uh, but then again, maybe we can steal from her. I suppose I'm free to do your dirt. Okay. Nothing to steal. Okay. Here, I'll handle it. So that's pretty much all we can do in Kaldahar. So I guess we should leave now and go to the Vale of Shadows. Done. Come on, you can do it. That would be here. So, let's rest. Enemy sighted. Oh, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Orders? I'll handle it. I'm here. Uh. I'm listening. Yes, right. I am your... It shouldn't be a problem. You have my attention. So many 
jobs. So I'm here. Yes. Dang it. Yes. The silent dog. Oh! Oh! Your wishes. Okay. No, wait. Stay a moment. I don't feel so what? good right now. Now you gotta Ready. go. This one's mine. Okay. Give the word. Here. You want me? Go ahead. Ready and willing. Right. Oh, what? You need me now. Easily done. Quarters? Let's spill some fun. Did you die now? Thanks. I'm listening. What do you want? You have my attention. This one's mine. Fuck it. What do you Beg. need very much? Yeah, it can't last much longer. Yes. Death comes for you. Ah! I'm I ready. don't believe it. Leave it to me. No! Oh, I'm sick of it. Okay. Ready. Because yes. I need to identify that. That's a ring of protection plus two, and that's a ring of a necklace of missiles. Okay. So I guess I give that to you. That brings the armor class down. And yeah, it gives you uh, what is that necklace of miss missiles? The one gift lost. The naming of this necklace originated from its only owner, Ikaida Morneve, who quested to regain his kidnapped daughter. Not many would help the determined father, but a kind and generous mage bestowed this, I bestowed this item on him to aid his cause. Alas, the necklace was lost when Ikeda dropped it into the Immerflow River while fending off bandits upon a suspension bridge. Fortunately, it is rumored that the item was not needed to reunite the family once again. Okay, so you can I guess you can shoot magic missiles or fireball or something like that. I guess we'll probably sell it. Here. And rest again. Understood. Okay. Because Orders. I want my uh, thingy back, my spells. Oh, what's that? Let's a shadow. I'm listening. I'm here. You have my attention. Fire. And we get 350 XP for that. Oh, there's another one. Let's spell some plans. Okay. I clicked on you. Thank you. What? Attack. Stop it. Ready. What do you want? Here. Wow. Are you ready for me? Okay, and there are several crypts like those in the Vale of Shadows. And here we have a zombie and several skeletons. The zombie is dead already. Okay. Orders. I'm ready. Medium. I'm listening. This one's mine. Next. Gotta be kidding me. Any last words? And your I looks will. worn out. Okay. Understood. So what do we get? 
I don't need the studded leather armor, but I will take the rest. Did you drop anything useful? Does not look like it. What is that here? This niche holds a stone statue of a roped figure. It is in remarkably good condition compared to the rest of the crypt. And here are some glowing eyes, see? I don't know what they do. This table appears to have been used for sacrifices. Human skeleton is draped across it. Okay. Oh, more skeletons. You have my attention. Something wrong? No, everything is fine. Yes. File. This one's mine. Whoa, what's that? A carrion crawler. Thank god he killed it. I think that one can paralyze you. What? No fun at all. Ready and waiting. Ready. To the butcher's work. 120 then. XP for the carrion crawler. So yeah, as you saw uh, when I entered the Veil Unrested, it really depends on how you tackle the monsters. When the monsters uh, spawn just Done. next to you, then you're pretty much in deep, in deep shit actually. But if you can, you know, position your party uh, pr properly, then it's not that bad actually. Here. If you can have the fighters in front and um, the thief and the mage in the background, best. then the battle is much easier. What is that here? This opening is choked with the bones of the dead. They appear to be human bones. No shit. A warhammer. Hello? Oh, a high quality long sword. Another one. And what's... Oops. What's that? A bastard sword. Yeah. Oh yeah. Give those potions. What's that? Uh, antidote. Yeah, but since it's, that has that purple potion, it's supposed to be green. It's probably cursed somehow. I'm going to sell it. And that is a potion of agility. It raises the dexterity to 18. Uh, nobody needs that. And um, yeah, the, the, this is a luck spell, I guess. Is that correct? Yes. Write it down. And a high quality longsword actually has a tackle plus one. It's a 1d8, and a regular longsword is also a 1d8. So, yeah, I guess the high quality longsword is better. Orders? Okay, um. Oh, what do we have here? A skeleton. I'm listening. Give me a target. You have my attention. Let's wow. spill some blood. Ha ha ha, gotcha. I'll handle it. What's that? A bad legs. Nobody needs that. Time to trim this one down to size. The head. Uh, wait a second. You should be looking for traps. Enemy sighted? No shit. Yes. Fire. Fire? Great. I suppose I'm free to do your... Murder most foul, crass victory. Thanks. I am your man. So, you were looking for traps, right? It shouldn't be a problem. There it is. Trap disarmed. What? So, um, what do we get Got here? It. A flail. I'm not picking up regular stuff. It's not really worth anything. You gotta be kidding me. Keep to the shadows, friend, and the battle will be uh, You, uh, so many you should dogs, use bow and arrow. So Thank you very ready. much. Time. Agreed. Uh, just a regular shot saw. And uh, what's that? Shot bow, arrows, and a stinking cloud. 
and maybe the boat too. I'm going to scribe the spell and put the arrow in here. Here. So I guess we should uh, form up here. Your wishes. I'll see what I can do. Uh, just uh, another trap somewhere. Yes. Oh yeah, wait a second. Now I have experience six thousand four hundred. A uh, six thousand seven hundred forty. That's the experience amount of XP that the thief has. Six uh, No, we don't get XP for disarming traps. Orders. That's sad. Agreed. Issue. Okay, so, but yeah, we explored the first script, we didn't find much in here, but that will not discourage okay. us, uh, we will explore the rest too. But we will do that in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.